this evening, we vow to move forward under a common fly because this is LSU football, this is Tiger Stadium, and this is Louisiana. That was the announcement the PA address announcer made before Les Miles and his team made their home debut and literally the Tigers came roaring out of the gate. Keep an eye on the defender spot shadow. Jesse Daniels hits Eric Ainge and it's recovered by Kenneth Hollis, LSU, happy to be back at home and on their first play from scrimmage, Les la Bantan Roulet, let the good times roll. Joseph Adai from 19 yards to the paint, and it's 7-0 LSU just like that. First and 10, LSU near midfield. Chiron Carey takes the handoff, flicks it back to Jamarcus Russell, looking deep for Craig Davis. He'll make the grab. He had a game-high 68 yards receiving. It's a top play nominee down to the three-yard line. LSU would punch it in two plays later. It's 14-0. Ainge had a rough night, makes a horrendous decision here. Pressured by Cameron Vaughn, just flips it up in the air. And Kenneth Hollis is there again, and it's 21-0 LSU. And Ainge, just to add insult to literal injury, gets thrown right into the goalpost. He'd leave the game. Is he going to get back on the field after what happened? We'll get to that in a moment. 24 seconds to go in the first half. LSU, no timeouts. Need to be smart, need to get out of bounds, need to do something to try to put more points on the board. But Jamarcus Russell stays in bounds. Clock doesn't stop. Les Miles is bumming. His time runs out. Didn't seem like a big deal at that point because it's still 21-0. Enter Rick Clawson. Appeared in three games for LSU. He was told he wasn't good enough to play there. Really. 21 for 32 in this ballgame to Robert Meacham down to the 10. In a 24-7 ball game, same drive, huge play, fourth and goal. Clawson bullies his way into the end zone. It's now 24-14. Plenty in Vol Nation felt like this guy should have been the starter all along. Russell, uh-oh, picked by Jonathan Hefney. He pounds it down inside the five-yard line. Gerald Riggs Jr. takes it, and all of a sudden it's 24-21. Not just a ball game, but a very close ball game. Just over two to go. Tennessee on a James Will Hoyt field goal ties the game at 24. We go to overtime. After an LSU field goal made at 27-24, Tennessee rides the shoulders of Gerald Riggs Jr. He had all the yards. Takes it down inside the 10. Les Miles is upset. Why? Well, you tell me. Aaron Sears, Jesse Daniels. It looks like a hole. No penalty call. Later in the drive, it's third down and goal. From down 21 to nothing. On the verge of losing back-to-back -back games in the SEC, Tennessee shows unbelievable determination. They come back for a fantastic, well-fought, well-earned victory. LSU fans heartbroken once again. There were plenty among the volunteer nation that felt that Clawson was better in the spring ball, he was better in summer camp, but just never could win that starting nod from Coach Fulmer. 196 yards, erasing a 21 to nothing deficit in Death Valley, might just get in the gig. Tigers now just have three wins all time in 13 games at home against the Vols to join Monday night on Rocky Top. I don't know if there's a better story in America than Rick Clawson, you know, getting done what he got done, coming back here to win this football game at a place that he had been. I, I, I don't know if there's a better story in, in the world than what this guy's done. Everybody makes comments, said I transferred to Tennessee because I wasn't good enough to play here. You know, they can say what they want. That's just the way I react. And you know what? I'm thankful for every one of those guys in that locker room because those are the guys that keep me up when things weren't going my way. And I appreciate the effort from those guys and my family back home because I love them all and I appreciate it. I, I think our team, uh, you know, would certainly uh, regret the fact that, uh, you know, we, we couldn't do it again. But uh, th this team will have an opportunity through a season uh, of play uh, to make their contribution, hopefully. Shut out at the break on only 90 total yards. The second half, they fight their way back over 200 yards of total offense and 24 points, which is all they had managed in their first two games combined. More importantly, that they avoid that 0-2 start in the SEC, from which there really is no comeback if you have national championship aspirations.